to put a cap on this, think about this. There are so many days of the dead. So for a Christian leader to say that this is a Christian holiday, it does not find its roots in paganism. It actually is a, a Christian holiday. And they quote All Saints Day by default. I'm sorry if this, this steps on toads that are out there, but by default, that Christian leader or Christian period is stamping the Roman Catholic Church as Christian. You're literally saying, and you may believe that, and that's fine. But understand what you're stay, saying, Mr. Christian leader. If you have the audacity to say that Halloween is a Christian holiday and doesn't come out of roots of paganism, and we know historically, and you admit in your quote that it comes from Catholicism, then you're saying the Roman Catholic Church, which was about as pagan as the state of Rome at the time that that, that was created, you're literally saying, well, why don't you say that the rest of the Catholic holidays are Christian as well? Why don't you just become Catholic? Because this is not my quote. I just quoted a Catholic bishop. Because that's exactly what their upper echelon leadership doesn't understand. How can Protestants keep our Sabbath on Sunday, keep our holy days, and not be Catholic? Do you know why? Because Protestantism came out of Catholicism. We are simply the redheaded stepchild of Catholicism. We don't know how Catholic we really are. Look how many cultures have a day of the dead, ladies and gentlemen. I apologize for getting so fired up. No, I don't. Because God's fired up. He's tired of the compromise in his church. This is no Christian holiday, my friends, in origin. If it was, we wouldn't find it in every culture on earth. The Mexican Day of the Dead, El Dia de los Muertos, it goes back to the ancient festival of the dead, celebrated by the Aztecs. Now, why is it historic? Because in 1999, the Roman Catholic Church and the Protestant Lutheran Church signed an agreement that brought an end to the protest. Luther believed that we were saved by grace through faith alone. Amen. But that's not it. The Catholic Church believed that we were saved by works. And that was the protest. In 1999, they wrote this together. Because in the Protestant church, we had a lot of cheap salvations. People were getting born again, but no fruit whatsoever. And because we didn't even look for fruit, it wasn't the issue, because it wasn't necessary for salvation. And no, it's not. But it's a good judge if you are saved. So what these two churches did, they put the two definitions together. Listen to it. I'm reading verbatim from the Catholic Vatican website. Justification means that Christ himself is our righteousness in which we share through the Holy Spirit in accord with the will of the Father. To, together, we Catholics and Protestants, Lutherans, believe and confess that by grace alone, in faith, in Christ's saving works, and not because of any merit on our part, we are accepted by God and receive the Holy Spirit who renews our hearts while equipping and calling us to good works. This brought an end to the protest of Luther. Brothers and sisters, Luther's protest is over. Is yours. In 1999, this was signed by the Lutheran Church, the Federation Worldwide. Later, about five years later, the Worldwide Methodists signed the same agreement, but as of today, we still have had no Protestant evangelical that will stand up and sign this agreement to agree with our brothers and sisters that we are saved by grace through faith to good works. And I believe that's something that needs to be fixed. There's a challenge for you. So, The protest has been over for 15 years. And I get a bit cheeky here because I challenge my Protestant pastor friends. If there is no more protest, 
how can there be a Protestant church? Maybe we now we're all Catholics again. <laughs> Is a document created and agreed to by the Catholic Church's Pontifical Council for promoting Christian unity and the Lutheran World Federation in 1999. As a result of extensive ecumenical dialogue, it states that the churches now share a common understanding of our justification by God's grace through faith in Christ. To the parties involved, this essentially resolves the conflict over the nature of justification which was at the root of the Protestant Reformation. The protest is over. This was brought about by spirit-filled Pope and spirit-filled Lutherans that got together in the Holy Ghost. Now, listen to this statement. In faith, we together hold the conviction that justification is the work of the triune God. The Father sent His Son into the world to save sinners. The foundation and presupposition of justification is the incarnation, death, and resurrection of Christ Justification thus means that Christ himself is our righteousness in which we share through the Holy Spirit in accord with the will of the Father. Together, the Catholics and the Lutherans were the first started. And all, all the rest of our um, Protestant denominations sprouted out of that over the years. 